guys. So today we're going to do a reading that was inspired by some other readers. You know, sometimes I do readings when I see them being inspired by other readers. So I will do them too. So, who is your secret admirer? And we want to draw four signifiers for you to choose. And I use my Mondnacht Lenormand. First card is discard the wine. Let's get the next card. The Buddha. Card number three is the peacock. Wow. And card number four is the garden. Okay, guys? So those are the signifiers. So who is secretly in love with you? Who is your secret admirer? And look at this beautiful moon. And yeah, we're gonna look at this. So please make your choice. And then we see each other at the piles. Also, please thank you everyone who donated to my channel per Kofi. Thank you for everyone who books personal readings with me. You know, it's really an honor for me to read for you guys. And if you want to have twin flame reading, please contact me. You know, the um, contact information is always below in the description box. And also I want to say, I love you guys. Thank you for finding my channel, you know, and let's heal together. Okay. See you at the piles guys. Bye. Hi, pile one. You chose the wine. So let's see who is secretly in love with you. I want to shuffle in front of the camera. Pile wine, please. Pile wine. Who is secretly in love with pile wine? Okay, we have shining through and look at this beautiful card. Oh my gosh. Doesn't this card look beautiful? I want to put it to the side. Wow. And the wine. Wow. This is so beautiful. Let's get some romance um, tarot cards. And then I also have, this is romantic tarot, and I also have the sexual magic tarot. So we're going to see what is this shining through all about. We have the empress. Wow. They see you as the empress. They think you're beautiful. Like, wow. Look at this. Someone has dogs here. I feel that you're having dogs. I see Paris here or Rome. Rome is very dominant. It's like a kingdom. You're like a princess for them, you know. Oh my gosh. And we have them as the fool energy. So this is the couple. <clears throat> so you are the empress and they are the fool. That's how they see themselves and that's how they see you. Can you see everything? I hope everything is visible. <clears throat> I want to get one card, one playing card for each. Can I see the Empress? I see that they see you like royalty. Yeah. It's like, wow, they want to start with you. They want to bring this connection to earth, meaning they want to meet you. They want to shining through, you know, they want to really want to make this happen with this flower here. I also feel that they want to make you an offer. They want to come forward. And this looks like a date. This looks even like a wedding, doesn't it? Look at this. This looks like a wedding couple. I feel this guy is very romantic with the wine being here. Someone who loves Europe, <clears throat> like this guy loves Europe. This guy loves wine. Um, maybe this is Italy or Rome. Yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? I see they love Italian wine. Yeah. Italian wine. 
this guy is someone they have a oh they have a sunflower on their on their dress they dress up very neat like if they dress up for a date they come like in a suit <laughs> wow yeah they, they're ready for dating and they want to send you with the messages you know they want to send you a message to date to a date and they want to start all over the fool and the empress two major arcana it's like wow yeah, it's like they want to take you out to a fancy date. That's what I'm seeing here. And this is also for me the message. Can I see the fool here? King of Pentacles. Yes. That's a very rich guy. The King of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign. But I feel they are rich. Because look at them. I mean, they have everything. Look at their suit. They are so dressed up and they are like in the sky. That's someone famous, guys. Wow. Because look at this. They are like in the sky. They're like on a pedestal. You see this? They really want to send out a message. And you are the divine feminine, like the empress. They see you as royalty. This is like... I feel here that they want to come forward. They want to make that offer. They want to take you on a date and they want to marry you right away. This guy is very traditional with the wine. Very traditional. They want to, like if they want to date you, it's like the next step they're doing is marrying. Like they don't fool around. <laughs> the fool. They don't fool around even if they are the fool. Wow. This is crazy. Let's get the, the sexual magic. What is this? <laughs> shining through they really want to send a message through that what i'm feeling can i see what this is all about the lovers oh my gosh yeah they're coming they're making a decision on coming forward you know i also feel that this guy is loved by millions i mean with the, all those women it's like he can have anything, anything, he can, yeah, probably anything too, but he can have every woman he likes. This guy is very high up. Wow. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Can I have another card? Let's get two. The lover stole twin flame. Soul bond. But here in this case, I also feel that they make the decision of coming forward, of shining through. Oh my gosh, it could be a Leo. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is in this deck the most beautiful card. It's like they want to make love to you. They want to un come in union with you. It's like they don't F around. This person, when they come forward, it's like they come for marriage. Oh gosh, this is so beautiful. This is someone very stable in life. They maybe own all the wine. Like they can buy as much wine as they want. They are rich. They are probably known. Because I see all these women. They are just like. This guy doesn't even look interested. He looks like what? <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This guy looks like. Yeah. And now it turned to passion. Like everyone is very passionate about this guy. Wow. They want to shine through, yeah. This is a divinely guided couple. We have the Empress and the Fool. The Fool, uh, the Empress is a little bit further in the soul journey. That's what I'm seeing here because the Fool is a little bit behind her. But that's so beautiful. I mean, the Sun card here, they want to come into union. They want to make love, you know, but it's, it's like the Empress here. You are their divine feminine. The Sun is also the divine masculine. They see themselves as your divine masculine. They see themselves as your husband. This is also my husband card. They see themselves as the husband of you. And they're making a decision of coming forward. Of shining through. I also feel that spirit is like, you know, because the, th the three and the zero. The zero is the fool. And the three is always the connection to spirit. So I think spirit has um, let a lot of information through to them. And it's a very sophisticated guy. Yeah, very, very old school. When he dates, he marries. It's like this energy. He sees himself as your husband, your divine masculine. And he wants to come and make you an offer. Want to give you a gift. Wow, 
This is beautiful. What the heck? Number one is already perfect. <laughs> let's move on, guys. Okay. Bye. Love so, you. hi, part two. Let's see who is secretly in love with you. Part one was already there. Let's see, part two, the Buddha. Who's secretly in love with Pal Buddha? Ears wide open. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love those cards. <laughs> they are so beautiful. Look at this. Ears wide open. They're listening to spirit. Like they're really listening to spirit. I see also with the Buddha, they're meditating. They're like getting information from spirit. Like this person is really spiritual. With the Buddha being here, they come. They might come from India, guys. From Asia. They're meditating. They're really big on meditating. They're a good listener. They have big ears. <laughs> and they're very connected to spirit. With the three here, twice. Okay, can I see? Who is this? The Emperor. Wow. wow. Someone that's a leader. Someone that's the Emperor. Oh my gosh, we have a couple again. What is going on today? We have all these couples. <laughs> this is crazy. What's going on? This is the Queen of Cups, so you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but that tells me that they are in love with you. You are their Queen of the Heart. I mean, the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Heart, and look at them. She has this big cup, so they see you as very self-confident, very reliable, very nurturing, very helpful to people, you know. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very deep very emotional deep and um that's what they how they see your energy you know very beautiful also very spiritually in tuned this is like the queen of cups is someone who's also spiritual so they know this and this person is someone who leads a company or something i mean hello this is like a king the emperor embodies all the king it's like he's the most evolved person so i think it's a very high spiritual teacher someone who is like way beyond spirituality like this is the buddha basically it's someone that practices spirituality for years guys you haven't even expected if you don't know about this about your person this guy is a spiritual teacher someone who meditates on a normal basis who listens to spirit for guidance and he knows who you are because he saw you in meditation. You are the queen, you know, you are his queen. That's what I'm seeing. You are his queen. Nine of swords. Can I see the emperor? You're probably really afraid that um, your person's not coming forward. I see you have a lot of um, fears. But he has plans. I mean, this guy makes plans. He already has chosen you as, you know, the two of wands is the card of. The, those are the two and there is no way around. It's like the emperor. I mean, this is a very strong personality, you know. It's like he gotten the information from spirit that you are the one. And they're saying, I'm coming for you, baby. You know, we are a spiritual union. This is also for me, the card of spiritual union. So this could be a spiritual, um, divinely guided connection because we also have a couple here and this is very seldom. And this person has very high spiritual abilities and you have a lot of fears. I see on your end is a lot of fears that because you're single, you have a lot of fears. Yeah, because maybe you're not meditating. You're very spiritual. You're very in tune, but you're not that calm like that person is way, way, way further evolved than you. I see this. Yeah, this emperor, he knows all about spirit and he's coming to get you. You don't need to worry. This person is coming forward. He's making plans already. Can I see <coughs> more? Mm 
Nine of Cups, yep, they're coming forward. They want to seduce you. Look at this. This is like a date. They want to come forward. They, they wish is to meet you in reality, you know. Look at this. Very beautiful. It's like, I see like two people like uh, be giggling, giggling around in like a garden. I think you guys make a beautiful couple. I see here a date in the open, like in the garden, on a bench, you know. I feel you guys have the same interests. If you guys have the same interest and he is very gentle a very gentle personality I, I see here he wants that you feel good he wants to make you feel good he is also getting all this stuff and I see his lamp here this is the hermit lamp so your person could be a Virgo I uh, could be of Aries also but I see here this person is um, listening they have open ears that means they're listening to you what you love what you want this person with the nine here also they are single the same as you and they listen to your wishes i see here this is they listen to your wishes they sit there and they listen what you want and they try to fulfill every one of your wishes it's like with that person i mean they have the power the emperor they have a, a lot of earthly power a lot of money a lot of earthly power to fulfill every one of your wishes wow what am i throwing out today like all these emperors that's crazy <laughs> what's going on here that's like fairy tales pile one pile two that's like fairy tales oh my gosh so you have the six of cups that's the soulmate bond i feel that you have dreamed of them already you have seen them i think they came to you in dreams because this person can do astral travel while they're meditating they can and maybe you've even drawn them with you and you have the contract. I think you know who this is. Because she's sitting there and waiting on the person. Maybe that's why you're afraid that your person isn't coming. But they are more evolved even than you guys. This is the emperor. They have a lot more money. They are more spiritually evolved. Um, probably they have... Um, why they didn't come before. It's um, They're making plans. So they have some big task in life. The emperor is always very busy. This is not a person that has time... A lot of time but when they are with you they're really listening they really want to come forward you know this is the soul bond I'm seeing and you you know this because she has the soul contract you have the soul contract on your lap and you is looking at this picture that you draw of, of you guys you draw this picture of you two and why are there socks maybe you like to walk around barefoot <laughs> that's cute yeah, but I see here you have drawn this person already. You, I think you have seen them in dreams. They came to you and already told you maybe, you know, that they're coming. Because I think they connect via meditation with you. And maybe you're looking at pictures of them. So this could be also someone famous, someone known. And you're looking at pictures and you're saying, oh my gosh, when is this person coming? Maybe I'm, I'm never going to see them. Maybe I'm never going to see them. That's why you are afraid, you know. But look at this, guys. This person's already making plans. Like, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I really love this reading today. So who is secretly in love? The one you're thinking of. The Emperor, you're a divine masculine. I really feel, again, a, a divine counterpart. Beautiful. You guys are all on my channel. I love this. Okay, so that's all what I'm having. Bye, guys. So, hi. Next one up is Pile Peacock. So let's see. Let's see, guys. Moon, stay white. <laughs> Isn't that moon beautiful? So beautiful. So, Pat Peacock. Who is secretly admiring Pat Peacock? <clears throat> wow. We have Divine Matrix. Number 44. That's very interesting. I feel I feel that this is a divine masculine. Let me see if I can change up the the lighting so that everything you can see everything good. I hope it's working, guys.
Can you see? Yeah, I think it's going good. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, what I feel here is a divine masculine. Um, your life path could be eight or, you know, four. Um, this masculine is single and peacock could be in the public eye. Mm, someone who is seen. I feel that this masculine is caught in the matrix. That means he is not really awakened yet. But it's a divine masculine. No, no, it's your twin flame. It's your one. So let me see who is this. Can you show me universe? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so we have the seven of pentacles here. Rome. We have the Colosseum. So if you're running to the Colosseum, you're ready to fight when you're running to the Colosseum. <laughs> oh, what was in the Colosseum? That was like a concert. Someone who's famous. Oh my gosh. Because that reminds me of a concert, you know, running to the Colosseum. And in the Colosseum, there were people in Rome that were visible. A fighter, someone who's seen. Yeah, someone in the public eye. I really feel that here with the peacock. Because, <clears throat> yeah, someone who's caught in the matrix in everyday life. His, this life of this person is very busy. <clears throat> Pipe Piper. <laughs> this is one of our boys. So you have a secret admirer as one of our boys. This is so funny. <clears throat> ha. Yeah. Okay, I see someone here who's in the public eye, who is an artist, a singer. <clears throat> Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be, doesn't have to be, very earthy. I see earth, earth, um, that means this person is caught up in everyday life. Can I see the, um, the page of pentacles? Yeah, someone who loves making music. It could also be, guys, listen, if, if um, you know, because why should someone who's famous be your secret admirer, you know, other than he knows you? <clears throat> well, if the boys or if some of the boys come to my channel, then they have a lot of secret admirers. So maybe this reading is for one of our boys and that's their energy, you know, then you would be their secret admirer, you know. But then we have a lot of secret admirers on my channel. <laughs> but what I also feel, guys, is that someone who's really passionate about music, but, you know, this one is like um, basking, you know. So what I'm seeing here, it could also be someone who's really passionate about music and who goes to concerts as an army. Like this could be someone who is in the divine matrix, you know, but who is an army, who loves to be in the spotlight, who loves to be seen, who studies music too, you know, someone like this, because I barely see why should, <clears throat> why should this guy be a famous one if he's secretly in love with you, you know, this is a secret admirer. <clears throat> Can I see the seven of pentacles? Nine of wands. <clears throat> yeah it's like you're you're you don't want to miss you it's like here with this card she's running to the Colosseum. it's like you know she's afraid to miss to miss out <clears throat> to miss out on that person i see again here a couple this is your energy mm. <clears throat> not giving up waiting for that person knowing there is someone like you feel them in your energy field and maybe you meet this person at a concert this is someone very passionate about music <coughs> they could be in the public eye but it could also be that they are like a peacock very colorful person someone who's very colorful you know they dress up in green a lot Hmm, very interesting. 
<clears throat> someone who's very passionate about what they're doing, someone who's passionate basking about music, they do music and art because they love it and not because they have to, you know? This is what I'm seeing here. So can I see two more cards for this person? The hanged man, they watch you. I mean, look at this. They have secret fantasies about you. You don't even realize that they watch you. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> you don't see this, that they watch you. You don't even notice that person. This is a secret admirer. This is really a secret. You don't know of that person. This could really be another army. Someone who loves making music. Someone who's very colorful. Um, can I see one more card? <clears throat> the Four of Cups. Yeah, you don't see them. They're like hiding under this cloak. You see this? I feel also they, they watch you. It's like a stalker energy. Like someone who's really secret secretly checking you out. That's what I'm feeling here with this card being here. And the four of cups is like this, this person that you don't see them. Look how she's looking away. You don't see them. This is really a secret admirer. This is very interesting. <clears throat> Let's see what this Divine Matrix is all about. Yeah, I feel they have a red aura. I don't know why this turned red. I feel they have a red aura. <clears throat> Let's read the Divine Matrix, number 44. <clears throat> what energy is this? Thought. Okay. This is thought energy. So you are constant in their thought, constantly in their thought. So it says, the realm of spirit, the knowledge that we are all divine beings, part of tapestry, weaving our dreams into the fabric of reality. Wow, <clears throat> this is a soul connection. Do you ever wonder how synchronicities have come together? These meaningful coincidences move life forward in ways we might not understand at time. We can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate parts with space between because the true quantum spiritual nature of reality can be confusing. Okay, so this is... <clears throat> okay. Yeah, they have a red aura. <clears throat> I feel this is someone watching you, someone... Um, that you don't even think of. You don't even think of. I think you will meet them at a concert because I feel that either they are at this concert because they are the the um, well the star at the concert or they are an army because we have here divine matrix so this person is your divine counterpart and you guys are together interwoven in spirit already but you have no idea who that is I don't think you know who that is because here in both cards she's looking away and he, he has a cloak on so he's hiding <clears throat> but he dr he's dreaming and fantasizing about you I see that very very interesting um, this person could be a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio because I see that here they're very loving personality this is not a stalker energy very loving I feel like they think about you often, like it's it's like you are in their energy field already. Maybe you guys have never met in real life, but um, they feel you in their energy field. That could really be your divine masculine, guys. Wow. This is deep. This is really deep. Wow. Okay. That's all what I'm having, guys. Wow. So your secret admirer is also someone in your energy field. Some Like it looks like your counterpart. Looks like your counterpart. You're waiting on them. 
It's the one you're waiting for. The one is destined for you, and they know you. They know. Do you? They have you in in their energy field already. Also, very interesting. Okay, so that's what I'm having, guys. Bye, hi guys. So you chose the garden. So let's see who's secretly admiring you. It's probably all of our divine masculines. <laughs> Who is secretly admiring Pile Garden? Who's secretly admiring her garden? Ah! Wow! That's too much. <clears throat> well, they have an open heart chakra if the green color comes on. <laughs> I love that. Look how beautiful that moon looks with my decoration. That's like beautiful. Pile garden. Who is secretly admiring them? <clears throat> that's the energy I got it oh into me I see that's really interesting what is this into me I see well I feel here you already know the answer It's like someone who's, again, we have someone in the public eye. Why are all those divine masculine in the public eye? Do I have like so many divine feminines here? Their divine masculine is famous too. Well, it could be guys. I mean, I'm, I'm drawing them in because of my energy. That could really be. But your divine masculine is um, the one you're thinking of um, is in the public eye. I see that here with the garden. And into me, I see someone who's very retreated, lives like a hermit those two cards came out we have the knight of pentacles and the page of cups <clears throat> well it could be an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn you know someone who's very determined very loving has a lot of water energy, you know, page of cups, very innocent. This person is very inexperienced in love. Like they have not experienced a lot of love connections. Like I feel here, um, they are very loyal also, you know, I also see this page of cups also very loyal, very loyal and um, offering, you know, offering their, their um, commitment to people. I also see a very compassionate person, you know, with a page of cups, someone who's also very loving to be in the public eye and also loving to be with people. Like a very, a person that um, loves to, to be around people, like an extrovert. I, and the funny thing is they are like an extrovert because, you know, they offer a lot of love to people. But on the other hand, they're very determined to reach their goals. You know, they're very straightforward. Um, when they have a goal in mind, they just go for it. <clears throat> but it's someone that... It's like in recently, they've really drawn back. Like it's an extrovert that recently um, has drawn back, looks inside of himself, tries to see what life is all about you know it's like someone who's in the public eye who's been very privately recently you know and we're gonna see what this page of cups is all about <clears throat> yeah they love to be around family and friends like emotional fulfillment means for them um to show compassion to be there for people to serve people you know they love serving they love serving that makes them happy like if they cannot serve people they are not happy like they they um, are very loving personality who's what is this um, knight of pens Yeah, I think they recently drawn back because um, 
they have struggle moving forward. They have struggle. They don't know in which direction they should go. They are a little bit directionless. I feel here. It's like they want to come forward. They want to move towards your energy, but they don't know how. Let me read this into me. I see number eight. Your life path could be number eight too. What energy is this? Earth energy. Yeah, I felt I also feel an earth sign here with this energy. Or oh, is this water? Wait, wait, wait. No, it's water energy. But we have water here. So this person is earth and water. I really feel this. Okay, into me I see. A certain precious moments you're called at certain precious moments you're called into a deep and meaningful connection with the world. A magical affinity arises with the kind of intimacy that in turn encourage a greater understanding of yourself. <clears throat> yeah. Now is the time to take a risk by connecting with other people. Can you see how far you've come? Can you see what is still active within you that needs to change or heal? Yeah, they're looking inside. They're like in hermit mode. They're really like in hermit mode trying to figure out what's their passion, you know, trying to figure out what's going on in life. <clears throat> they're also trying to figure out like they see you inside of them. This is another soul bond we're having here because if, if this person is in the public eye, um, yeah, I, here also with this card, that's a soul connection. I can see that. I mean like almost 80% of the people here on my channel have soul connections. So I think this is another one. I mean, I almost read only for you people, you know. I barely have real life connections. <laughs> so um, this person is like in the public eye and is retreating and looking, um, yeah, reflecting their life, you know. The emperor, yeah, someone who is very reflecting right now i see here they retreat in their own you know also because of corona you know they're at home they're usually very outgoing this person they love to be with people but right now it's like they have a struggle they're like directionless that's why they look inside of themselves they look inside of themselves trying to figure out they have everything look they have passion fruit here crystals they have a big stick Look at the stick. Ah. Ah, they have a big stick. <laughs> Whatever that means. Can I see? The, <laughs> can, I, can I have another card? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> That's interesting. Again, we have Earth energy. I don't know why this red is popping up, why the moon is changing color again. It hasn't happened like in the first two readings, but here in the last two readings, it changes color a lot. I mean, I see breakfast here and um, living together, you know, staying over, um, spending the night together. So I really feel that this feels for me like a commitment. This is a very committed person. And with the rose here, it's like they want to offer you their love. <clears throat> They're working on that. They really want to come forward and be with you, you know, because um, who is we're asking who is secretly admiring you. So I feel here with this card, um, it's like they're far away from you. They're imagining this life with you, you know, where you can um, sleep together and um, get up at the same time have breakfast together you know breakfast in bed um, imagining life with you daily life this is imagining daily life with you they really want that but they struggle to find a way they struggle to come forward you know because I feel here they are like a person they offer themselves to people so I really feel that they can't forward can't come forward because they offer themselves to the public right now at this as this emperor this is someone famous they offer themselves right now as an emperor they feel the soul connection they feel you inside of them into me i see they see you inside of them but they can't make anything can't make any effort yet you know because also the 10 of cups it makes them happy to offer themselves to the public you know, but 
at the same time they imagine life what would life be with you with their soulmate you know very interesting it's so cute i love these readings today they are so beautiful i hope you can see all the pictures because it's very dark but i love how the moon is shining <laughs> that looks cool looks very beautiful yeah my soul connection people i hope that it is okay what i got out you know that's what i saw so we've seen that all of our divine masculines know they know a lot more than we think they know it's crazy isn't it so now i'm closing this off here and i'm saying bye guys